All right, we're gonna get started with acronyms. Uh, not my favorite assignment, but I think that we can get something out of it. Um, so let's just run through here. This is kind of like, it's pretty involved here. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to do a bunch of different things. Uh, we need to strip out all the characters. Um, this, we need to take this thing, we need to split it up. We need to get rid of any punctuation in here, which I think is gonna include, I think you probably wanna get rid of these guys too. So I'm going to do this in just a bunch of different stages. So let's start with this. Let's start by just putting this in here. We're going to have that. Um, I mean, the very first thing, like, I'm going to just do this in stages. Uh, I'm going to say L is equal to S dot split. Let's just try and do that to begin with. And then I really like to see, like, what are the contents of, and let's return L. I don't even really need to, you know, I'm just going to, like, print L. It's like L is just going to be, like, a temporary thing that I work on. Um, all right, so now we have all of this stuff, right? We've split everything up into all of these different little categories here. And now I want to go through and I want to strip out all of the all of the punctuation. I think I want to get rid of these brackets too. So I want to, I want to call this method, I'm going to say things to strip. Because I know that I can use inside of here in the strip method, I can use this is going to get rid of the leading leading and trailing white space so if there's any space at the front or the back of each uh, string that we find i'll remove that and then it'll also reduce should reduce this here too i uh, should get rid of this too let's see we can actually test that out uh, i don't see a lot of spaces in here but i would say this is going to be a string and it's going to be i don't know what kind of punctuation can we be looking at um for sure this is going to be in there there's Probably commas, although I feel like, yeah, there's definitely a comma there. Um, let's try that. Let's just do that. And then maybe we can do like print. Um, can we make a little. Da, 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 da. Because I want to strip out for word in L for word. We do this and then word strip things to strip. That seems like that makes sense. Let me get rid of this and let's see if we've got it looking a little bit better. Okay, good. So I'm going to go through here and see. I see there's also a period that I've missed. Um, so let's do put a period in here too. Let's try and run that again. Looking better. That's really pretty much it. Um, let's see here. Um, anything else we need to do? I don't know what else was calling us to do. Um, I think just pretty much that. And then we just need to find the ones that are like this. Um, I'm going to say this. So I'm going to strip that. I can just make this L. L is equal to that. And then I could do, well, that's probably a better way of doing this, probably a more a simplified version of this, but I can say, L is going to be equal to for word in L if word dot is, it, is upper. Word. Let's try that and then let's return L. We'll try and run this code. Yeah, it looks like we get out all the appropriate things here. Is that correct? Looks good to me. Let's go to the code. Let's see if this works. Otherwise, I might have to switch. Mm, looks like that works. Okay, so not too bad in there. 